Hi, I'd like to take just a couple minutes here to talk about digital printing and print on demand and variable data printing. So you may recall that digital printing is special in, in that it um, does not have printing plates as traditionally is known for like letterpress, lithography, gravure, or flexography. Uh, instead, it, the plates are written electronically on the cylinders and the toner is electrically charged and um, you can um, read about this in the um, reading and viewing section of the uh, major printing processes. Um, and also some of the benefits and the pros and cons. Um, some of the key um, uses of digital printing is to do print on demand. Uh, print on demand means that um, that you're not printing a whole bunch of copies to store in a warehouse and to ship out and hope that they get sold. Um, that you are only going to print what is actually sold. So that has a lot of benefits as in there's no waste. Um, every copy that's printed is sold. Um, it also allows uh, printing to be done uh, locally so that a bookstore could do print on demand from an author that's across the country. Um, and it allows uh, writers and um, publishers to self-publish so that uh, print on demand gives them the ability to just go and print a certain number of books that they uh, want. Um, so this is a new trend that has only been possible with digital printing. Uh, previously it's too expensive to, um, well previously you had to make plates, put them on a press, and to put all that work and money and time into it, um, you might as well print a lot of copies while it's set up. But with digital printing, um, that's not necessary. Uh, I refer you to the videos on the Espresso Book Machine. Um, Village Books uh, has an espresso book machine uh, in Fairhaven and you can do self-publishing and print on demand with them. I like to think about what would it do to libraries if a library had print on demand um, machines like the espresso book machine. Anyhow, um, in addition to print on demand there's variable data printing. We see variable data printing with um, uh, businesses trying to personalize and customize uh, marketing materials for us. So they'll use um, uh, databases full of information that is gathered or collected, um, and then they'll take that information and combine it with uh, designs to output personalized uh, printed material. So in this image here you can see there's these postcards with people's uh, names on them um, and then they have a different um, image associated with them. So um, that comes from the marketing data that shows that uh, Valerie likes to go camping, um, Monica prefers to hike in the mountains, uh, Jesse likes to go skiing or be in the snow, etc. That data is collected in many different ways and then um, it can be connected to designs. We're going to do some uh, data merge, uh, variable data printing in class um, and you can find instructions for it online as well. Essentially, though, there's two major ways to do it. One is to have the printer do it, the first option here, and that's where you give the data and the art and the layouts to the printer. And the printer can merge them on the fly, basically merge it in the rip, and print out uh, each individual piece. Uh, the second way to do it is if a designer does it, if you want to do it, 
then you can do the merge. You can create the individual pieces and then send the individual pieces to the printer and then they just print it. Um, it's a little more uh, time consuming um, on your end as in you would do the merge and make sure everything's right, but it also gives you a little bit more control. And, uh, and then the printer um, is not really gonna mess it up. They're just printing the merge documents that you've created. Anyhow, um, I have spoken with some of my friends in pre-press and um, data merge is um, hugely, <laughs> that's a terrible way to say it, hugely. Uh, data merge is commonly used in pre-press and printing um, practices. So if you're going to be involved in this field, I really urge you to uh, explore it more.